Welcome to welcome to part one of the Morgan House tour of the Rustic Roost, which me and me mother have been staying in for a few days. So here is a little sitting corner we have not used at all. Over there are our neighbors who have dogs, which is a, a little unfortunate. And there's our vehicle down there. We have a pretty decent view. Not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but all these windows give us a pretty nice view. I'm doing a video tour, Mom. Say hello to the camera. Yes. Here's the main room, by the way. It's a pretty nice setup. And uh, apparently, this TV is actually a 4K one, at least according to Chromecast. Only shame, though, despite being a supposed 4K TV, we have a DVD player hooked up to it. There is a Blu-ray player in this house. But it's not hooked up to this TV. Don't quite get it. Also, I don't think it works. Because uh, it's doing that. But we have some nice seating arrangements here. And of course the air hockey table, which is pretty nice. Um, no electronic scoring, but we don't really need that. Played it. Got my ass kicked. So that was fun. Kitchen stuff, blah, 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 blah. Now I have to show you my glitchy clock. It's very important that you see my glitchy clock. Because this is my room. It's a little dark at the moment because I like it dark, of course. But it's a pretty nice bed. Pretty big. TV is smart, so that's nice. I can watch YouTube on it. And it's wall mounted. And I was able to even figure out a way to get the Blu-ray player hooked up to it. The one we brought. Now here is my glitchy clock. It looks normal at this moment in time, doesn't it? Well, let me turn on the lights so I can mess with it and show you what the issue with it is. There we go. So the hour position, <sighs> it's weird. And this will be a little tricky to do. Hmm, let's see if we can get the phone to stand up against the player. Yep. Some of these hours don't display correctly, like 10, which looks like an 18, 12, which looks like a backward 6, as does, you know, 2, 3 is fine, 4, uh, got a little extension at the bottom, this is supposed to be 5, but it looks like a 9, that's, I mean, it looks like a 9. Oh, wait, is... I, I think that's supposed to be a 6. I'm losing track here. It's a confusing clock, yeah. 7, 8, 9, and we're back here again. So, I believe I'm going to set it back to the correct time, which is 7. So there's my glitchy-ass clock. Hope you love seeing that. They have direct TV here, which is cool. We use it. None. Here's the upstairs bathroom, certainly the nicer of the two. It's got some light controls, which is pretty great. This light's the one we use because it's dimmer and better in pretty much every way. This is a toilet. I'm sure you haven't seen one before. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty standard fair stuff. And it's a good thing I took a shower before coming because I would not want to shower in this thing. That pretty much concludes the upstairs portion of this. The next video I do on this will probably be outside. Maybe day, maybe night, who knows. And then maybe a video downstairs. Who knows what oral I'll do on it. Well, that's part one. See you next time. Okay, part, part two. This is the outside. We have a nice little bench. Too much light. A lovely little uh, hot tub. It's a little small, but... I'd show it to you if I could, but I don't know how to get it open. Mom is the only one who does that. Not really much to show out here, just a few chairs, a beautiful view. 
Just thought I'd capture it before we left. Uh, well, actually, this is what the hot tub looks like. It's not very deep, but it was a pretty nice hot tub nonetheless. And I had not that bad of a time getting in and out, so that's good. End of video. And now for the now for the final video showcasing this place with the basement. Well. It pretty much just is the first floor. I mean, it's essentially what you walk into. The door is right here. There's the staircase, first thing you see. And uh, if you can tell by the flooring, I think this, uh, I, I think upstairs is a bit nicer, which is why I slept up there. Um, you have some things down here that are nice, namely the theater room. Um, the picture wasn't as great as I wanted, but it was still pretty cool. Um, we have some nice light controls. We've got this one, which controls those two, I believe. Then we have this one, which controls those two. And you can control the lighting, supposedly, except it doesn't work here, it seems. Lovely. They have some movies already here. None of which I care about. Most of them are on DVD. Two Blu-rays, Life of Pi, and Rocky. Not ones I wouldn't, those are ones I wouldn't mind having. Jigsaw puzzles, woo! They have a boom box, that's interesting. I have not sat in this thing. But apparently mom says it's really uncomfortable. We had to do a couple things to make it more comfortable. In order to watch movies down here on this projector. Which um, I think a surround sound setup is hooked up. We've got a Blu-ray player on the top right. A receiver below it and a speaker. But we couldn't figure out how to work it. And well, considering we're just about to leave. We've run out the clock there. Oh, another light switch over here to control these two. I'll real quickly show you the projector on. Just to give you an idea of what it's like. I'll dim the lights so it's easier to see. The darker it is in the room, the easier the projector is going to be to see. And it automatically turned on the Blu-ray player. Now, I'd say this is probably the best way to view it, because it looks more natural. I mean, also the lighting's just better. The picture still isn't what I call ideal. We watched the Goonies in here, and uh, some things looked a bit off. And when you have more light on, you can see it doesn't quite fill the projector screen all the way, unfortunately. But... That's the theater room, pretty much. Got a few movie posters here. I'm pretty sure of the movies on that shelf, none of these are on there. Got my switch before leaving the room. And I'll show you uh, the rest of the basement. Or first floor. We continue the less luxurious basement with a foosball table, clearly inferior to the air hockey table. The TV, um, here's the thing, the bedroom here, down here, does not have a TV in it. It's out here for some reason. Um, here's the inferior bathroom. And in my view, the inferior room. No TV in this one. There's a TV in mine. There's two stands on mine. Only one here. I just think upstairs is better. I made a good choice. So that's pretty much the basement here and that's pretty much the conclusion of our tour.